What's up, everybody? Good late afternoon or early evening. Does anybody feel like some unmitigated good news? There hasn't been a lot of that today. It's been a day full of mostly bad news or kind of melancholy news. It, it, it's not good right now. So let's get a little bit of good news going here because we did get some from Pete Carroll's press conference a little bit ago, and this is definitely worth talking about. So we got a couple tweets from John Boyle here uh, from Pete Carroll's presser earlier today. Abe Lucas will be expected to return to practice next week. He may return to practice this week. That's huge, people. That is a big one. That could be a big shot in the arm for this offense. When you take a look at how Stone Forsythe and uh, Jason Peters played yesterday, they were definitely part of the problem. They weren't the whole problem. But generally speaking, we're a better team with Abe Lucas out there than any other right tackle we can put. So this is big. So I'm very excited to hear this. Obviously, he needs to actually get out on the field before we feel great about anything. But Carroll has generally been very vague and non-committal about Abe Lucas updates ever since he got hurt. So, looking at this, will return to practice next week, has a chance, like 50-50 to do it this week, is my understanding. Commanders, I mean, they just traded all their edge rushers, right? So, hopefully we can get through that game without Abe Lucas. Uh, we got the Rams after that. That's another game you would hope they can win without Abe Lucas. So you got two games coming up that you, you've got a little bit of margin for error. And then the gauntlet really starts. You've got the Niners twice. You've got the Eagles. You've got the Cowboys. If you could get Abe Lucas back by that point in time and he provides a significant upgrade over what you were getting from Forsyth and Peters and Curran... That, it's going to help. Every little bit's going to help here. And at that point, you're out of excuses, right? If you're Waldron, if you're Geno, if you're Metcalf, if you're Lockett, if you're JSN, or whoever, whoever you want to single out at any particular moment, you're running out of excuses. You've got your healthy offensive line at that point. I know it's not playing as well as you expected it to, but it's not like it's a bunch of backups now. It's the starters. So at that point, you would basically have your, you you would basically have your five starter starters. So a lot of the excuses would fade away at that point completely. Um, further injury updates because there were a couple more. One of them that Carroll offered up was DJ Dallas has a chance to play this week. So it's not that bad. However, if DJ Dallas can't play, we know Kenny McIntosh is ready. And I think a lot of people would like to see Kenny McIntosh for a game or two. So if DJ Dallas does miss this next game, which this comment implies there's a good chance of that happening, we got Kenny McIntosh, and I'm okay with that. You know, DJ Dallas, I appreciate what he's been doing for us this season, but I don't think DJ is going to be back here next year. McIntosh is going to replace a lot of his uh, responsibilities. So in its own way, it's exciting to see what Kenny McIntosh can do. We also got this, and this is a huge relief to me. Derek Hall. Got another tweet from Boyle here. Derek Hall re-aggravated a shoulder that has been bothering him, but it doesn't seem to be so bad today. So that's another bullet dodged. We can't afford to lose Derek Hall. I know he's not playing great. I know he's not doing a ton, but we really cannot afford to lose Derek Hall. Um, we're already kind of messing around way more than we need to be with the loss of Nwosu and now having to put Daryl Taylor out there so much because of no Nwosu. Like, you you get Derek Hall out of the picture, suddenly Mafe and Taylor are playing 85% of the snaps, and then when those guys get exhausted, you throw out old man Frank Clark, and then you're probably promoting Tyreek Smith and Levi Bell, and you're just scrambling trying to find something that works. So this is a big relief to me, personally. It doesn't sound like it's going to be that bad. Maybe he misses a game or two. That's fine. He's a rookie. You would you should you shouldn't expect a full 17 game out of 17 games out of a rookie edge rusher anyway. So this is a uh, great news. I am relieved to hear it. 
And there was uh, one other thing. This is the bit of not so good news, but it's not exactly the end of the world. Drake Thomas has been placed on injured reserve. He was a guy who got hurt at the very end of that Ravens game. So he, I think he's going to miss the next four games because I do think it's short term. But uh, Drake Thomas, he wasn't really doing that much anyway. He was playing on special teams. And honestly, it didn't seem like he was having a big impact on special teams anyway. So not really sweating that loss too much. To replace him, we promoted defensive tackle Austin Folu, which is interesting because, to my eye, we've gotten pretty good snaps out of our nose tackle position, so I don't know if Faolu is going to play. He might just be a guy who gets declared inactive every week, but for the moment, he is on the 53-man roster. So congratulations to Austin Faolu. You've worked your way back. Um, I didn't hear anything about Brian Monet, so I assume that he just continues to be out and I don't really expect to see him again this season. I just don't. It doesn't seem like it's in the cards, which doesn't really surprise me. But yeah, I would call that some pretty good news overall. The one guy who's going to miss significant time is the guy who was barely playing and the guys who I was afraid about possibly missing time after this game, um, namely Derek Hall, but also DJ Dallas. They might miss a game. They might miss two games. And these are the two games that we should be able to win anyway, if we're being honest, right? These are the games that, look, you can be as injured as you want to be. You can be, well, I don't want to go too far with it, but if you're missing a player or two, that can't be the excuse for why you lose to these teams. I, I, I understand that you want to be at full strength, but not having DJ Dallas and not having Derek Hall, if it comes to that, is not the excuse that you can use when you lose to a team like the Commanders or the Rams. They're just not that good. You should be able to win with what you have, and it looks like what we have is going to be pretty good. I said before that Ravens game that we were going into that game pretty healthy, and that largely held. If there was anything good to come out of that game yesterday, it was that we came out of that game pretty healthy. So the big one is, of course, Abe Lucas. Man, that would be a relief. If we could get Abe Lucas back for the second half of the season... Not only would that improve the team, improve the offensive line, improve the offense, it would also allow for a very clean evaluation. Like, you could, you can fully evaluate Shane Waldron knowing that he's got pretty much all of his players. He's got his full offensive line. He's got these receivers, tight ends. He's not working with a short deck. You can fully evaluate Geno Smith because... He's going to have his starting offensive line. Now, you hope the guys play better, right? Because on Sunday, they didn't play well. But the point is, at least you've got a chance because you've got your starters. All right, I'll see you guys later. Go Hawks. Good news here. And I'm just happy that now there gets a chance to be no excuse because earlier this year, when we had all those offensive line injuries, four or five guys playing with a full slate of backups, and the offense struggled a little bit. It was easy to blow it off. And it gets less and less easy to blow it off with each starter that comes back. But if we can get Abe Lucas back and have all five starters on the field, it's going to be really hard to blow anything off offensively. So one less excuse is welcome right now because we need to evaluate some of these guys. And this is the best way to do it. All right. See you guys later. Go Hawks.